Hello chaps, John with you. Uh, it's time now to get started on the M10 Achilles, the M10 2C. Uh, brand new kit there from Tamiya. Um, if you've just watched the unboxing, then this is the uh, first build update. Okay, so we're going to get started on it. So let's get down to the bench, have a look at the instructions, and see where we're about to start. Okay. Okay, so we're starting with the instructions. We're going now to uh, step number one. Step one. Step one has us getting the uh, the lower hull all sorted out. It's uh, not a sort of pre-built bath style hull or tub. We got to go build it ourselves. Okay, so we've got our base plate, we've got a bit of kind of a, a step piece. Then in section two then, or step two, we've put on our main drives, our two side panels, um, another little fiddly yoke there in the middle. Then we're on to our differential colour cover, diff. Okay. So we've got a um, couple of pieces there to add on to that. Then we're over, we're fitting these things here. I'm not sure what they are, to be honest with you. I don't know where they go. I think they go with, yeah, they go with the back and underneath. So it's probably the exhaust sections. Okay, we're fitting on the diff, fitting on our rear section couple of other little bits and pieces to go on there then and that should be the um, that should be the the lower hull made anyway so we'll get as far as step six right and uh, we'll have a look at that when it's made okay so step one step two three four five and six, right? We'll get them done. We'll have a look at it, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, now, and we're after getting as far as step seven. I know I went to set it go as far as step six, but I did step seven as well. I just glued the tracks together. Wanted to see, basically, just wanted to see will they glue properly, and because usually. When they say they glue, you use use that melting thing and a bit of glue, and it works. But this time I just glue them just on their own because there's no little protruding pins. There's the uh, there's the join. And as you see, the glue did its uh, melty thing. So there's the tracks. They're perfect, absolutely fabulous. And here's our uh, tub so far. Okay all the little pieces are in and on the back as well hold on a second we get a bit of light back there bing there we go all right back here we've got some little bits and pieces and the same one there on the front okay no it I wouldn't say it fell together, but it it, it 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 slotted in together perfectly. You know, to say it, it fell together is a, is a ridiculous statement to make. <laughs> but uh, it, it was easy. It was easy. There was no problems. I didn't have to shave anything to get it to fit. Um, it's what you'd expect out of a Tamiya kit, and what you'd expect out of a brand new Tamiya kit. Right, now we're down to the... Uh, oh, now we're down to the funny bits. The wheels and suspension. Okay, so we've got our road wheels. We've got to make a dozen of them, 12 that is. Okay, two pieces, there's an inside and an outside, it just pops in. Right, um, we've got idlers to make, or drive sprockets, should I say, sorry. Um, doesn't say how many of them to make, but I think it's two. J21 and J20 drive sprockets. Make two, okay. So I got to make two of them. All right. Then we're on to the making the uh, the bogies, okay. Um, there's a couple of parts in the assembly of them. All right. 
we have to make three for the left hand side and three for the right hand side okay three right hand side bogies okay there's our bogies and then it's a case of fitting the bogies and the dry sprockets right so that's what I'm going to get done I'm going to get as far as step 11 I won't actually fit the bogies um, at that stage not yet anyway because I want to get in there and sort of you know about painting so they're going to be fair awkward to get in there and get them painted um, it's a case of what do we do what do we do decision time I have to make a decision on it I could yeah I'll make them all up I'll attach them and I can paint them up afterwards I can get that whole lot painted as one as one piece um, as long as the wheels move then I can get in there I can get in there with paint and things so I'm going to get the, those steps done step 8 where we're getting the wheels made and our drive sprockets step 9 and step 10 where we're getting our bogies and step 11 we're fitting the bogies okay so I'll get all that done get back to you we'll see how all that went okay any problems if I come up across any major problems I, what I'll do is I'll stop and I'll show you but I'm not expecting any problems to be quite honest with you and uh, let's just carry on and hope everything goes smoothly okay as you probably saw there from the edge I'm after getting all the wheels done okay bogies and I'm after fitting the tracks as well. I can take them off again easy enough. There are only um, poly caps there on the wheel, so it's easy to get them off. There's no problem. I just fitted them on just to have a look at them. Um, fitting the bogies or building the bogies, they were simple. They really, really were. They they went together so easy. Um, and as you can see, I mean that is a lovely fit. Um, Right, that is that is absolutely perfect. Okay, can't ask for anything better than that. All right, absolutely beautiful. Um, same on that side then as well. Okay. Right. So, where do we go to now from here? After getting it that far. Um, I do have to get the inside of that painted uh, so what else do I have to get painted white so I'm going to get the interior of that painted so what I'll do is I'm going to get this bit done I'm going to get this bit done okay uh, these are the sort of the sponsoring pieces for in under there but I am not going to fit them. Okay, I am not going to fit them because I need to. I want to get that painted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this section done. All right. I'm going to get this section done, and then I'm going to have to paint the inside of that. The undersides there, the sponsors that you're going to see okay and get all the gun the uh, ammunition get that painted up as well as uh, sort of a gold or a bronzy color there with black tips so I'll get that done we'll have a look at that before I get it painted and then I'll paint the in I'll get the interior there of that much painted um, after that then we're working on the top of it yeah, no more sort of internal paintings really needed. Because once all that internals are painted, then it's a case of that just sits on top of that, so we're not going to have any problems. Then it's only when we get onto the, t the inside of the torch again, then we have to go painting again. Um, right, so I'm going to get these bits done. It's just these two sections here. And uh, get them ready to get them painted as well as the inside of that so that's the white painting and that 
so I can take off the track there just so I, I don't want to get white paint on the tracks I'm um, not really worried about uh, anything else because it's all going to be painted up afterwards anyway so I'm not worried about a bit of over spray and things like that but uh, if I can keep avoid getting it on the tracks I will so I'll get that done we we'll get back we'll have a look at it and uh, then I'll get some painting done on it so bear with me I'll just get that done okay so I've been doing a bit of painting and a bit of dry fitting of a couple of little bits and pieces and I've noticed a few things right I'll just show you the bit of painting I'm after done first anyway I'm after getting the internal done nice and white okay um, I'm after painting the in underside of that okay and I'm after painting these little sponsons that go inside there okay they'll be they sort of come up under here all right that, that, that's where, th where they sort of finish off anyway you know um, and here are the, the shells okay nicely done I'm very happy with how they turned out really really happy and I'm just see can I get the light any better than that there there we go okay I have to excuse the kids shouting outside it's summertime kids are off on holidays all right and I don't live in a house a, a, a soundproof house <laughs> it's the last thing but soundproof as you can hear Abby and all in the background there if you can just about hear it but one of the things I have noticed okay right this piece fits on here right an absolutely gorgeous fit right really really does fits in perfect right I guess it's a excellent you know I get all that I've seen so I'll fit all that and then I can just mask off here and I can get the thing painted then for fitting on the tracks I won't be able to fit the tracks in because of this way that the you know the mud guard here in the front and the sponsons are so low all down over it and that is even without the uh, the sponson pieces in there it's gonna be hard to get that track in so it's gonna be have to be a case of paint the lower hull section paint the tracks fit them okay and then glue the top on simple little things little things um, these are all sort of minute details but if you get them wrong you're going to end up sort of putting yourself in a bit of a bind afterwards so what I'm going to have to do is well I'm going to get these all glued into place and you know fit them in underneath there all right that's not the problem but the problem is with this section here so what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to mask off this top section and then I'm gonna to have to give this uh, the green color thank God it's on a camouflage scheme anyway so I can uh, worry about all that later on it's gonna be the same, a flat color so I can get in around here get all this painted here get the wheels don't worry about too much about the front because when the top goes on then like that I can get all that done in, in the back done like that so it's just really in the in the wheel section all right in around here the wheels and the uh, the, the, the bogies and things all right I'm gonna get all them done uh, but before I do that what I might do is I might just weather the inside of that now what I'm thinking of doing, believe it or not, is a bit of pigments. Okay, I have some pigments there. And just weather it up with a bit of pigments and uh, give it a black wash first, just to kind of dirty it up. Then a few pigments in there. You know, just to, to kind of make it look uh, used and abused. Because um, I'm going to have it pretty, pretty, pretty well weathered. Not so much damaged. You know, I'm not going to put any real battle damage on it. But I'm going to I'm going to kind of give it a good a good old weathering. Um, I might clip off one of these. Um, mud guards on the front, all right. I might do that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I I I got a couple more uh, bits of research to do on that. Uh, when it comes to research, I don't do extreme amounts of research, but I do I do. A bit of research on, on um, when I'm building a kit 
and the usual research I do is I go onto YouTube simple as that and I look at videos some videos of people who have made it before made different versions of it um, I'd look say at uh, you would always get an all kind of history of the end team and its variations they're great videos um, the chieftain does a, a walk around videos on vehicles that's very good as well so you can get kind of nice close-ups on little areas you're not quite sure of and um, you would always get bought battle footage of them as well and some of those battle footages you get yourself an idea of how you want to do it um, I've seen a couple of these now um, being used in sort of Normandy and after Normandy and they don't really, they don't, I haven't really seen any badly damaged ones I've seen some sort of destroyed ones but not damaged and being used if you know what I mean so um, limited to uh, sort of what kind of uh, battle damage you can do in it um, they weren't really designed to take battle damage basically what they are they're an, an artillery piece rather than um, a, a battle tank so the armor isn't as isn't as strong um, they use more sort of uh, shoot and scoot as we call it get in fast you know lie in wait fire blow up your tanks get out of there fast so it's a mobile artillery piece so uh, we, we kind of um, use it for that right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the inside of that weathered then get it covered over um, I'm going to fit these pieces here fit the sponsons all into that uh, then I'm going to paint this section here then I'm going to worry about continuing on then get the rest of the uh, the outside of that built so the next step now is to get these things fitted in with the uh, with their ammunition get them fitted into that get this piece masked or weathered and masked off and uh, we'll get back to you then and then we can kind of continue on then with more construction of it so I'm gonna get them done I'll get back to you when that's done All right, okay now we've done a little bit of the uh, construction of those pieces we've just been working on <coughs> um, and a bit of painting I've got the tracks bare done, okay? I've got to do more to the tracks. I've got to get rubber black onto them. But what they are now is they're coated with um, NATO black, okay? Which is my base colour for my metal tracks. Um, just metal up the sides of them and the centre sections then rubber black. So no worries. I can fit all that and I can paint the rubber black on them at a later stage as I, you know, move on purely because it's movable okay so I don't have to worry about that so straight away I did have to worry about painting the rubber on the wheels though okay as you can see they're done All right oh, the camera doesn't want to play ball All right there we go the rubber's done on the wheels and we've got the uh, we've got the green down okay and that uh, I did mask off the insides because I had the insides of that already done so now it's time to remove the oh yes, and also I have the uh, those in, inner sponsons fitted okay on this and I've got the uh, ammunition in place so now it's time to join that to that okay so we take off our masking Easier said than done, isn't it? Slip off there now. There we go. And there's a masking off. And there's our interior. And as I, as I said, I'm after giving it a black wash. And I'm also after dirtying it up with some pigments. Okay. So, hold on a second now. I'll hide some of the light. It doesn't want to fucking be bound to light, it's a bit too much maybe. Oh, if I turn the light up that way. There we go, as you see. Nicely dirtied up. Okay, and there's our wheels and everything else. Mad isn't it? Without light on it, 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 it behaves itself better. 
right? So there's our interior, and there's our wheels and all that done. So now I'm going to fit the tracks, um, loosely fit them. And I said loosely fit them, as in they're easily done. Um, you just make sure, uh, make sure you have it in around the dry bracket. Off the egg in there. Fit it in sitting around the, uh, the dry sprout. Okay, so now that's done. That's all glued into place and we've no light bleeding in there, okay? Like we had with the dry fit, because it wasn't I mean it wasn't glued down, it wasn't pushed into place and all that. So now it is and everything is ready. We've even got our little uh, plinth there for the driver, which is ground, because this hatch will be closed, this hatch will be open, we'll have the driver in there. Um so we will now put that aside, get out our instructions again. Right, so we've all this section done. So now, I mean, I've even gone and fitted the two together. Um, it doesn't tell us to fit the two together, but I've gone ahead and done that. Yeah. I've jumped onto this <laughs> and put them together. But uh, the reason for that was it was just it's easier. It was easier. You don't have to follow the instructions step by step. You have to follow them to you know put everything together. As long as you put everything together by instructions, that's grand. But in the process in which you do it, that's up to you. Right. So now we've got some upper hull parts to attach. Right. We've got our fuel fuel filler caps. Right. Let's see. Well, that will turn on the light. That'll work for this on the white as well because the light seems to be affecting the thing a bit. Right, so we've got a few filler caps, we've got a few, you know, the tankers bar maybe, I think is what it is, a few other little bits and pieces. And we've got all these little studs here in the front. Okay, what they are, I do not know, it's probably for attaching sort of used for putting on that, that extra armour 
that went down to the front of that. So that's probably what those were, attached pieces. Um, bolts and things, it shows perfect fitting there for those pieces that we put on, the uh, fuel filler caps and the tanker bars, right? Correct positioning for them and how they should look when they're fitted. Right, so we're going to get that done, 16. We're also going to get 17 done, right? And on 17 we've got a few more filler caps, right? We've got um, our hatchet, we've got a storage box of some kind, another square object there, and we've got those grousers that go on the side. Then the other side we've got the other grousers, we've got the travel lock for the gun, and we've got a um, big wrench. Then we've got the other tools to go on. So we're going to get all of them done. We're going to get as far as step 19. Okay. We'll get as far as step 19. Come back to you. We'll see how, how all that looks. What it looks like, you know, as it starts to get built up. What it looks like. So, join me then. Okay, so here we are. Um, I did say that I got that far, but I did forget to put on these pieces here. Okay, so they're on now anyway. Um, that's just the the bottom of the hull. Um, I'd forgotten to put them on. Just goes to show the importance of marking them off with a bit of um, highlighter. <laughs> Forgot to do it, and then when I went on, I. I sort of went back to do it and I noticed that I hadn't got them done. So anyway, they're done anyway and everything's done, you should see it down a minute. Um, I also fitted all these little pieces here. we got the fuel filler caps, the tankers bar, the other bars and God knows what else. These little bolts here in the front, they're all on. Um, the grosers they're on. We've got some tools and some more uh, filler caps. The grosers on the other side tools in the back, light fixtures, uh, light guards, they're all on, um, lights in the front, handles, top is fitted to the bottom, spare tracks in the front, the hatches, we have one open, one closed, light guards on the front lights, and then I stopped, okay, because the next part now is into the turret section. So let's have a look at those. Go. and all that is done there as you can see these are the little bits I was talking about earlier on this section down here where, where the where the hole kind of comes in at an angle um, I'd forgotten to put them on and the back piece but they're all on now and the tools are in place and everything light guards lights grousers um, We've got the front of the vehicle all done up. It's got the uh, open hatch or, or driver. He's going to sit in there. The light guards and all that. And like I said earlier, we have the inside already done and weathered and everything to go. So what's left now, what's next is um, we have to get the turret all sorted. It should be in the next update, update. So that's it really for this update. We're going to stop it at that. So it's build update number one. We've got up as far as the hull. The main hull is done. Um, there are one or two other little parts to go onto the hull, but they're on at a later stage. We've got the air, there's an aerial here to go on, and we've got the tow rope. So they'll all be done at a later stage, so I'm not really too worried about them at the moment. So that's it for this update. And like I said, in the next update we'll be getting on and we'll get the turret done. The rest of the construction done. Um, then we'll get it painted and everything else. And then I'll be moving on to the figures. And the figures I will be doing as a separate video, like I said. The um, reason I'm not doing the figures at an early stage is for the positions of the figures. The posing on them. Making sure that their hands are in the right spot. You need the vehicle uh, fully made up. So that you can sort of, you know have them when you put them into the vehicle their hands and all that are in the right are, are in the right place so you wait until you've all the construction done for that 
So like I said, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, don't forget to join me in part two. Where we'll, be, we'll be getting the, uh, the rest of the vehicle made. So that's it now for part one. We've got this far. Um, it's enough, I suppose, for, for, for the first update. It's typical to me, uh, everything just fits. It really, really does. Um, no problems with it whatsoever. Couple little fiddly parts, but you know, we got over that. Um, but regarding to fit and finish, everything is absolutely beautiful on it. It really, really is. It's a lovely little kit. Um, so far, I would definitely recommend it for anybody um, at any at any level. You know, from beginner right up to uh, experienced modeler. I definitely recommend this kit. So, I'm going to leave it at that lads. I'll catch you in the next one. In the meantime, stay safe, enjoy your modelling. And uh, go out and buy yourself a kit. Build it. And enjoy it. This is John signing off and saying, I'll catch you on the next one lads. Stay safe.